Toronto has been feeling like a sauna the last few days, and families who have loved ones in long-term care don't understand why some residents still don't have air conditioning in their rooms, even though two years ago Doug Ford promised to make it mandatory in every room. It feels like about 40 degrees in there. J.C. Ruhala's father has advanced Parkinson's and dementia. He is also COVID positive and hasn't been able to leave his long-term care room for 11 days. He can't even use a fan due to fears it would spread the virus. The window only opens about seven centimeters from the bottom, like a bottom crank, and then um, that's it. There's not like a lot of cross breeze that's able to get through. It's stifling, it's very still. Um, it's very thick. It's like walking in there. It's like a, a hot blanket. And then with that, then comes the um, intensified smells. Ruhala worries her father gets dehydrated. When I got there, he drank like three big glasses of liquid and was just so thirsty, like just so parched. Wet towels on his body, um, a lot of liquids. What else can we do? Last year, the provincial government passed legislation requiring all long-term care homes have air conditioners in every resident's room by June 22nd. The deadline passed a month ago, but 90 or 14 percent of Ontario's 627 homes still do not have AC in every room. Is there going to be a point when you penalize because family, like it's sweltering in these homes? Yeah, look, uh, we have been working as hard as we possibly can. We've been following up with the homes to make sure that they're doing everything everything they possibly can. The minister blames supply chain issues and COVID for the problem. How many individual residents do not have AC right now? Ruhala says about half the residents in her father's for-profit long-term care home do have AC and that they began installing it shortly before last month's government deadline. She believes a COVID outbreak stopped the work. This could have all been done. So this is what's so frustrating. They've had all spring all winter. Ruhala's father was once a plastic mold designer, raised a family and walked her down the aisle. She is speaking up for him now because he can no longer speak up for himself. Excuse my dad. People have to know that it affects everybody and it affects caregivers. It affects the staff. Like they are, you know, they tell me they're like, we are soaked under our, um, their scrubs. Since that interview earlier today, the home has told Ruhala her father could come out of isolation tomorrow, possibly, but she isn't sure if that means he can go outside, and even if he can, it would only be a brief respite from the heat.